Well, here we are midway to uh, the second morning of BTME, busy, busy show as usual. And I'm joined by Caroline Carroll, who's the, uh, tell me again, I've got a memory. Mark, like Marketing Communications Marketing Manager. Communications. And Daniel Lightfoot, who's the, I'll get this wrong as well, Daniel, you tell me. No, he's our business manager for UK and Ireland. Wonderful. And it's a busy, busy year for you because you were saying, telling me earlier that uh, you guys are involved in the Ryder Cup this year. Just tell me a little bit more about that. Yes, we are. So at BTME, we are launching um, the fact that Syngenta are sponsors of the greenkeeping team at uh, Le Golf National, host of the Ryder Cup. And we're very, very excited to be working with Alejandro Reyes there and the whole greenkeeping team that will be supporting him. And um, we're going to follow their stories, make the greenkeepers the real heroes of the event um, and make a really, really big noise about it this year. Now, I know previously there's guys come, volunteers have come from all over the world to work at the Ryder Cup. I would take it it's going to be the same again in Paris this year. Yes, we've been talking to um, a few guys from the UK who are going to be there helping out Alejandro. Um, and there'll be people from all over Europe coming. I think the team is 140 strong for the Ryder Cup. So what St. Jens wants to do is really boost them, support them in everything they do. Well, while uh, Caroline's enjoying herself at the Ryder Cup, Daniel, yeah. you are involved in the nitty-gritty, ensuring yeah, the golf yeah, courses absolutely. are as disease-free as possible. Can you just tell me a little bit more about what you're up to at the moment? Yeah, I think disease controls, uh, you know, it's very difficult at times in the UK. We've had a lot of kind of warm, mild, wet uh, autumns and winters. And so, as I, I think as you can see from the show, there's a lot of changes in chemistry, um, some new stuff and some stuff that's going. And I think it's quite a difficult time. And so what we really want to do is kind of help people understand uh, the best way that they can to control disease on their turf whether through IPM and then through Syngenta products just to if we give people better information they can make better decisions and then hopefully then they get better turf and then everybody's happy so I think that's the real focus for us is education to provide better decision making. Is it still a battle to as the as products come, come off the market replacing them with something as good or better? I think the regulatory environment is become incredibly tough. I think you've seen chlorpyrifos, carbendazine, imidacloprid, all of those actives disappear recently, all at the same time, and with Ipridone now going as well. It is difficult. To, it's difficult to keep things, but it's really difficult to get new, new things. The environmental hurdles that we need to meet for the very right reasons. I think it's for the right reasons. It's, yeah. it's, it's tough to get new products, so the ones that come are really clean, really effective and really targeted and we're working incredibly hard to kind of to, to deliver that and as you can see we're, we're, we're doing that at the moment. I mean I know it used to be it was a doomsday scenario when all these products left what were we going to be left with? Worm infested, weed infested golf courses. It's not happened has it because you guys are ahead of the game. Well yeah I remember doing a presentation here five years ago and we, and we stood up and, and we were told that you know in five years time we won't have any of the products and it'll be really difficult and in, don't get me wrong, insecticides and herbicides is really difficult at the moment to, br to bring products. But if you look at fungicides, we've got more groups and more options than probably ever we've ever had. And with Syngenta and, and Bayer and everybody working hard to deliver stuff for, for greenkeepers, I think we've got really good options. And I think the, maybe the, the, you know, the target's getting smaller, but we're just getting better at throwing darts and, and with the experience that we've got. And so we just work really hard to kind of do that. I think it's excellent. Well, thank you very much, the pair of you. Um, good luck with the Ryder Cup. Good luck with uh, keeping disease off our golf courses. Yeah, yeah, of course. And uh, have an, ex an enjoyable couple of days left on the show. No, great. And thanks for joining us on Turf Matters TV. No, great. Cheers, thank Scott. Thanks okay. a lot.